The forge in Appledore has stood beside the high street for centuries. Smugglers' ponies, as well as the horses of soldiers sent to guard the Royal Military Canal against an anticipated invasion by Napoleon, must all have been shod here. Ray Mosley trained as a shoeing smith almost half a century ago and came to Appledore with his wife 34 years ago. Today, he's given up horses, but still plies his trade to great and artistic effect. Blacksmithing, I think you have to have a feel for what you want to complete. I, I like things to look as near as possible uh, to the originals, uh, knowing that metalwork has its limitations. I suppose that you need a certain amount of physical strength, but it's not so much that you, you brute force. You, you've got to be gentle with metal, and after all, when metal's hot, it's very ductile. It will move very easily. There was only a few horses here when I came, and they were quite a useful job because there was very little work when I originally started here in Appledore. I think the one thing that, that uh, sparks a little is when the children come and say, uh, do you still shoe horses? And I say, no, I don't shoe horses anymore. And they will say, oh, you're not a real blacksmith then. Terry, who at the moment is working on a circular bench to go round a tree for a customer, uh, came to me about seven years ago, I think it is now. He's a very useful man to have, as he is in fact a, a fitter welder, and this works very well with the blacksmithing skills that I have. I will do the forging and Terry will build, as with Gates, he will build the framework and uh, then I will make the pieces that go into it. So mostly everything in the forge that's made, we do work together on. I think there's a certain amount of feeling you get in an old premises where you know that great craftsmen have worked there in the past of all times. And one feels you're carrying on something that has always been and certainly from the point of view of working in a, in a forge which has been there for so many years, you're still carrying on a little bit of history. Mm -hmm.